Today we're going to go through the process of adding a general ledger account number, just a basic posting account. And I'm going to show you one of the little tricks I use to adding it, how I look for it, and um, just any kind of information as to what each individual field means. So let's begin. I'm going to start on the administration window under setup and company and look at account format. I just want to explain to you how the, your accounts are set up and where you can look at this information. We see in this particular company we have three segments, a division, an account, and a department. And the main segment is set up as an account number. And it's separated with the hash sign. The total account length is 9 and the segments are 3. Now you'll notice the maximum is 16 and the maximum segments are 4. This is how this particular install was set up. Yours may be six, up to 66 with the maximum 10 segments, which is the maximum for Dynamics GP. This particular company is set up with an account number of 9 and 3. You can increase the account number without any problems, but if you want to decrease it, then you're going to need one of the professional service tools. And you'll need to see your partner for that. All right, so now that we see how this is set up and we see what our main segment is, let's click OK, because that's not something you're going to change on a regular basis. Let's go into the financial series and open up the segment or setup portlet for just a moment. And under setup financial, we'll see an option called segment. And this is where we can name our segments. So as an account number is created, each segment also gets created and it has an individual name. And this is extremely beneficial when you're printing reports in FRX or Management Reporter and also occasionally when you're printing reports such as a trial balance directly out of GP. If you did a trial balance out of GP just for Department 100, instead of at the top saying Department 100 to 100, it would say Department Administration to Administration. And that makes it a lot easier for the recipients who are looking at the reports if they're only interested in the account name and not the number itself. So let's close that out. And let's go to Cards and open up the Account section. Now you can manually populate and fill out an account number and fill out all of the required information accordingly. But well, I have a trick that I like to use. What we're going to do now is add the account number for uh, credit card processing fees. And I want it I know I want it near my bank fees. So I'm going to do a look up and find my bank fees. Now to make that easier, I'm going to sort by description and come up to the find by description, type bank and tab, and I can see my bank fees. And I see it is account number 000 6600 Now let's remember that number for just a minute, 6600, and I'm going to close that back out, go back to my segment setup, and this time, let's look at account number 6600. And it's set up blank right now, so I'm going to just call it bank fees. So if I were to add an account number using that segment, it would populate automatically. Let's go back to account number and add in department 166600. And notice how it automatically pulls in the department name and the segment name for the natural account as well. This can be immensely beneficial as you're setting up your accounts. But let's get back to that Belinda trick on how to set up an account more easily. What I'd like to do is find the account I want it next to, which typically is the account that's going to be set up exactly the same way. And in this case, we know it's bank fees. So I'm going to select bank fees and pull it up. And I can see all the information is selected, that it's allowed for account entry, it's in the category administrative expense, and these questions are extremely important. Posting type mean, doesn't mean whether or not it'll show up on the balance sheet or P&L. It means when I close the year out, do I want the balance to roll forward, or do I want it to close out to retained earnings? And the typical balance, well, this is important that you set it right. Uh, because in looking at the account in things like FRX, it's going to decide whether or not when to put the bracket around it and when not to put the bracket around it. And in GP, it'll be where the field populates, so it are automatically default. So if you're keying in a general ledger entry, it'll default to a particular area. Now I'm going to save this, and I want to use account number 6605. Uh, so I'm going to enter in 000 and 
there's no, no uh, department set up for 00, zero and 6605 is a new segment, so nothing populates there. So what I'm going to do is call this credit card fees. And notice that it remembered the administrative expenses category from the bank fees. It remembered it was a P&L account, and it remembered it was a debit. And that saves me a lot of time when I'm setting up. So that's a little quick Belinda tip, and that's a little bit about setting up an account number in GP. Hope this helps.